What's up, Star Wars fans? Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. This time we've got number 89, triple zero, rounding out the wave. Um, if you haven't checked out any of the previous videos, just scroll back through my feed and you can find the rest. Now we've got the counterpart for the one I just reviewed, BT1. Um, and, and the previous one, Dr. Afra. So we're going to take a look at this figure just a moment. But on the back it says, activated by Dr. Afra, triple zero is a droid program for etiquette, protocol, and translations, but also specializes in interrogation and torture. With a fluency in a droid language unique to the Tarkin Initiate Labs, the dark silver plated droid reactivates an assassin astromech droid BT-1, which is the one I spoke about before. So, now for the most part, this is a redo of, it's basically a repaint of a 3PO, um, but it's the new mold that they're putting into the Galaxy's Edge 3PO droid pack, um, and they've actually allowed that elbow movement now, which is a uh, which is a new feature. Because um, the th two 3PO figures we've got, both the Force Awakens version and the the A New Hope version, doesn't have this feature, but they added on for um, for LOM. So that's a cool feature and it looks like that's what we're going to get with our protocol droids and 3PO's in the future. For the most part, it just it's a pretty standard looking protocol droid. He is sort of all this sort of gunmetal grey looking colour with some scratches and weathering and you know, he's got these red eyes. I mean, he looks kind of harmless but if you've read the comics you know he's a little deranged. His programming is a little messed up. Yeah, like the dark side opposite of 3BO. But yeah, nicely, nicely weathered and detailed and all that sort of stuff. Looks good. Now the cool thing about this one is he does have swap out hands. Um, being a torture droid, he does need his torture devices, so we'll swap out these hands right now, and we'll get a close look. So here's one of them. So he's got little... ...cutters and knives and little mini saws and all sorts of stuff sticking out of his fingertips. Which makes this droid a little bit different to anything else we've seen before. He's got some other bits and pieces here. More torturey goodness. We don't want to get in the way of triple zero. Pretty solid figure, nice addition to the wave. Um, Excited to see where they go from now. Um, we don't really have much of a clue what's happening with the next wave. Um, San Diego Comic Con's coming up in the next couple of weeks, so I'm sure we'll find out something there from Hasbro. So we'll see what's coming down the pipeline. But I hope you've enjoyed these videos. Um, I will be reviewing at some stage the Archive Wave 2 figures. Um, I just got them, so I'd love to do a bit of a comparison to the original versions. Um, of Anakin, Maul, and the other one, Yoda. So I hope you've enjoyed this review and my others from Wave 21 of Star Wars The Black Series. I appreciate you watching. Any comments below, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think of these. And until my next video, may the Force be with you.